got to Oh my god. <laughs> Give me that thing. So we're gonna go shooting for Sunday fun day. Sunday fun With fun the day. AR. Got the AR. Where's your car at? All the way over there. Why'd you park Sunday all the way over day. there? At the range. At the range. Sportsman kill shop. Shots. Kill shot. Headshots. Bang, bang, pew, pew. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Driver. I love this thing. This is my favorite of my favorite. My favorite of my favorite. It's my baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 4L60 right there for your Trailblazer. Fucking junk. Fucking junk. <laughs> Just like this fucking thing. What you know, thing? This thing right here? Danielle? Or me? Or you? I'm gonna go get my sharks. <laughs> wow, she's going to go get her sharks, guys. Uh, you guys don't want to know where the sharks came from. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that part of our lives right now. All right? Sure. What? It's unlocked. Don't point at me, weirdo. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? We are here in the shop, and obviously the last video you guys seen was of the C7 Corvette. We have a little bit of progress. Good old Maxwell House was over here the other day, and he boarded up the supercharger. And obviously, like good old Maxwell House's uh, progress, he did it wrong. So we got to bolt it over here because it doesn't belong over there. Oh my God! YouTube, we're back out here <laughs> with the sharks. Got my sharks here. Do the sh do 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 song. Do that. Do that. <laughs> do the baby shark song. Do the baby shark song. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. It'll be fun. Who wants to hear it? Comment below. Good. 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 Great. Save that for the next one, right? They're in an anemone. You should tell me. Mommy, mountain. shark doo doo doo. <laughs> he, he brought her. He brought. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I, I almost got attacked by a shark. A or not. He, ah! <laughs> he brought her, and he owns the SS Trailblazer We're sitting back here. We're going to leave her because she's weird right now. But he owns this truck right here, and basically what we are doing, I know you guys have seen this truck here for multiple episodes. You've probably seen it sitting outside. We just currently lowered this truck for him, which involved taking off the wheels, and now it's lowered. Hope you guys enjoy that. What do you think of it, sir? Uh, I like it. I like the small wheel setup. Do you like the, he has a small wheel setup. It's called the Running on the Rotors uh, on DFR mod. Wait on my big tires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're doing to this guy is we're doing a cam swap. Built the transmission. We all know how great I built for all 60s. And we're doing long tube headers, exhaust, catch can, cold air inductions, intake setup, and a whole bunch of other little dumb, stupid mods to make 325 horsepower at the Hopefully. wheel. Hopefully. And all we'll drive. Dude, she's, she needs she's a. Shocked, wow. Wow. <laughs> we can't clear our camera anymore. <laughs> oh my God. I will have both weirdo over here. Her Instagram will be in the description. His YouTube, he actually has a YouTube. He'll be making videos of this Trailblazer SS once we're done with it. Everything and anything you could think of to go wrong has gone wrong. So uh, we're just in the process of uh, clearing that up, I guess. <laughs> that, that is one of the issues. That needs replaced. No AC. That's no fun. We're going we're gonna to fix that for you. So initially, the original condition of this vehicle when you brought it down to me was... You had a front diff issue, and you thought the front diff was going bad. What I thought was the front yeah. diff going bad. We drove it, um, we checked everything out, we pulled things apart, and the front diff looked up. There's no understanding anymore, dude. <laughs> there 
They're gonna like her more than they like me, obviously. They're gonna be like, who's, who's the chick? chick? Like, who's the who's chick? The chick? It gets better. It gets better. Ready? I'm getting demonetized. Yeah, right. De freaking. You can't do that. Wow. But listen, guys, if you want this hoodie, turn around. Let's show it off a little bit. You know what I mean? You want this hoodie? It's on Teespring. Link down below. Go check it out. You can buy these hoodies. You can buy T-shirts and everything. I don't have it on. Oh, you, you don't have a T-shirt? It is in the car. Oh, he brought it with him. It's I in the car. You, bro. I know, man. I, I appreciate you. that. Thank you very or much. Left-handed handshake. That's Definitely, yeah, because we both. Right you know what? Yeah, because I'm a right-hander YouTuber, so. Same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, learned, definitely, definitely, yeah. So he came down here to see the progress of his TBSS. This trailblazer did break, unfortunately. Um, I was getting uh, ready to pull the manifolds off, and uh, as you guys know, you have to pull the uh, oil dipstick uh, tube out. And in the process of doing that, unfortunately, this is broken. The end is now in the oil pan. But uh, it looks like somebody might have already dealt with this before in the past, and it looks like, if you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like they siliconed it back in, so it might have been already previously broken. I didn't break it. Yeah, obviously you didn't break know. it. But it looks like it might have been previously broken, you know, before the car or before the truck actually got here uh, to this shop. So unfortunately, at this point in time, I had to give him the bad news. So either we have to drop the K member and drop the pan, or we might be able to get lucky, and I've explained this to the customer, we might be able to get lucky, and if the tube is in the oil pan, we can punch it through, or in the engine, we can punch it through, take the front cover off, which we have to do anyways in order to do the camshaft install, and reach a magnet. We have these uh, awesome little magnets here. Reach this magnet down through the pan, and maybe pick it up with this magnet. If we can do that, it's gonna save me a lot of trouble gonna save him a lot of trouble obviously and we can get this thing wrapped up fairly quickly um you know obviously we're doing long tube headers the cam like i said lowering kit exhaust freaking catch can freaking colder inductions intake setup um front diff seal transmission build saw converter all that stuff we're getting all that done for this customer and he's gonna be very very happy with it when it's all done right and obviously, if you have any issues with it in the future, get a hold of me. Yeah. Give me a shout. Let me know. You Obviously, you have my phone number. You know how to call and text, right? Call me, text me, and I will be more than happy to try to take care of any issues that you have in the future. And, uh, you know, get things squared away if you do. But you're not going to. You, you'll be fine, man. Yeah, well, yeah, because I'm, I'm a fun guy. I'm a blast in a glass. Why? He's and he's looking at the vet. He don't even care about his trailblazer SS. You I'm know. Black Stormtrooper if he wants to trade. <laughs> I don't think Black Stormtrooper is gonna want to fucking trade the C7 Corvette for a TBSS, but he might. He might want to. I don't know. I mean, I talked to him about it. Even. even oh wow, my God. Even up trade, right? No cash. No cash involved. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever he wants. Oh my God. <laughs> So basically, back to our story, we're gonna have to order a dipstick tube from GM for this thing. And we're gonna have to figure out if that piece is broken and if it's in the pan, or if the last person that messed with this vehicle was able to get it out and just basically siliconed it in the pan or siliconed it in the engine and just didn't tell anybody. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a fun little trip, to be honest. I, this is one of the things that you don't expect when you're working on cars. Like you're thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, we're just gonna do a nice little header job, cam job, suspension, whatever, little dumb stuff that's gonna be pretty easy. And then all of a sudden, you have a broken dipstick tube, and you're like, "Wow, now I gotta, now I gotta fix this too as well." That's definitely not the plan. Definitely not the plan. He was actually expecting to take this vehicle home today, and uh, unfortunately, because of the mess that we're in at this moment, that's not going to happen. I do apologize to you for that. I do apologize to that. Obviously, as you see, it is on the lift at this point. We usually just put it on the lift, and when it's done, it's done. You know, at this point, so. So we're gonna get her done and we have a whole bunch of other vehicles that need to get in line as well and get done. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We do, we do have a very awesome Mustang build going on. We actually have two Mustang builds going on guys. And uh, one of them is a swap. And uh, eventually maybe I'll show you guys the two Mustangs that are here that are getting swapped. 
and it's uh, it's going to be a turbo build, to be honest, and it's going to be pretty bad freaking ass, and uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy the content on that build. I'm trying to clear out the shop right now. That way, uh, you know, we have room for both cars in the shop. So you've said ever since you've owned this thing, it's been nothing but problems, right? Pretty much. So let me tell you a story. So I literally just got my oil tank filled up with uh, fuel. And ever since this Trailblazer SS has been in my shop, uh, my heater took a shit, decided it didn't want to work anymore. So I ended up having to fix that. After my heater took a shit, my lift took a shit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what the hell happened here. And this actually happened with the vet. The owner actually of this vet knows what happened when it was on the left. So he's already been informed. But uh, we found a little problem with our Atlas lift here. Atlas lift. And don't get me wrong, guys. This lift is amazing. I love it. It lifted my Duramax up. Um, it's been working great for the last two years. I cannot complain one bit. But this coil right here has seemed to overload it and melted the terminals, as you guys can see. And when I go to push the button, which I have the breaker shut off right now, when I go to push the button, it seems like they do not want to let loose. They just want to keep making the, the vehicle on the lift continue to go up, which makes me want to run over to the panel there and shut the breaker off rather quickly because this truck here was almost at the roof when that happened. And I thought I fixed it the first time, but I didn't. So obviously Monday morning, uh, well, Monday morning is going to be later on or earlier today because this video is going up Monday night. But uh, Monday morning, I'm going to call Atlas and I'm going to see if I can get a replacement uh, breaker set up or whatever this thing, whatever they want to call this thing, a replacement one. Because these are known to, go, I guess it's known to go bad. Basically, the uh, clips under here, they unclip from this part here and uh, they make continuous contact with the terminals, which then makes it look like the button is pressed in all the time, which then makes the lift go up the entire time as well which is very dangerous because we don't want vehicles falling off of lifts around in this shop and that would be just that would be just bad that'd be bad good thing you got soft ceiling uh, yeah definitely i mean it almost happened with that damn car max uh steve and i weren't recording when it happened we should have been because it would have been fucking hilarious but uh we weren't recording and we we're all freaking out max was the one putting the car up this car up and um what ended up happening was Steve was over on the engine bay trying to hold the car down and was literally getting lifted up on the car. He was about a foot off the ground. And I was, and that's why these are all pulled out. I was literally yanking on these wires to try to get the lift to stop going up. Um, and then we went over and shut the power off to the breaker. Uh, it was one of those things where we just really freaked out really, really quick. And it was very, very scary. But uh, yeah, guys, so we're going to get that fixed anyways. It works now. We, we got it working again, but I'm going to leave this all apart. That way I can kind of like, if it does it again, you know what I mean? I can be prepared to either shut the breaker off or knock the wires or something and be good to go. You know now what I mean? Now you got the trick down. Now, yeah, now I got the trick down, which <laughs> you don't, you have no idea how bad my heart was pounding when that shit happened with this bed. Like that scared the hell out of me. But it, like I said, it's not a bad lift, guys. So uh, don't hate on Atlas. They're a very good lift company. Just, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why this melted or whatnot, but we're gonna get a replacement, like I said. But yeah, that's pretty much it on the Trailblazer SS, guys. We are going to have more videos of this vehicle being put together, luring springs, all that jazz. I'm sure you're excited to see that as well. And the cam install and the header install and, and all that jazz. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it's just a whole bunch of me bullshitting and talking around and all that crap. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Deuces, guys. Uh -huh.